Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on locking a cell after entering a value using Microsoft Excel. So in this Excel worksheet, I have a column with participant ID numbers, and then I have a column labeled score. And let's assume that this is a variable where the score from a psychometric instrument is recorded. So we have an observation from this instrument, and a user is gonna go through and enter a score for each of the participants. However, because of the characteristics of the data flow process, I want the user to enter the value and then have that cell lock. So the, the value will be entered for participant 1001, and then the user can move on to 1002 and enter a value, but can't go back to 1001. That cell would be locked. And each value that was entered that cell will be locked. And only the cells that don't have values would be available for data entry. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the cells in the worksheet going up here to the top left corner. And then I'm gonna press Control-1 for the Format Cells dialog. Under Protection, you can see that the locked checkbox is checked off. I'm gonna uncheck that. So now, locked and hidden are both unchecked and click OK. So currently this worksheet is not protected and the protection is set so that none of the cells are locked. Next I'm going to move to the VBA editor and that's Alt F11 and we can see by default up here this is set to general and declarations. I'm going to select worksheet and by default selection change comes up, I'm gonna change that to change. So I'll delete this one down here, the selection change, and I'll be using the sub worksheet change. So I'm gonna start off by declaring CL as a range. So I'll use this to refer to the cell that I'm working with, dim CL as range. Then I'm gonna unprotect the active sheet and that is active sheet dot unprotect. Next, I'm gonna use a for each statement. So this is gonna be for each cell, CL, in target. And before I populate this statement with code, I'm gonna put in the next CL at the end. Then I'm gonna put an if statement. So this is gonna be if CL dot value is not equal to nothing. So if it's populated, then, and here I'm gonna create a message box that will come up and notify the user that the cell is about to be locked. So it gives the user an opportunity to change the value that was gonna be entered before that cell gets locked. So this is check equals message box. And then in quotes here, is this entry correct? This cell cannot be edited after entering a value. And we have a comma, this is VB yes, no. And then the title cell lock notification. So after this, we're gonna have a, another if statement. So this will be if check equals VB yes. So if the user clicks the yes button on the message box, then cl.locked will be equal to true. So if the user clicks yes, the cell is gonna lock. Else, the CL value will be set to empty, so equals quotation mark, quotation mark. So if they click no, the cell value will clear. And the if statement here with the check equals VBS, and then I'm gonna end the other if statement as well. The if cl.value is not equal to nothing. I'm gonna end that if statement. And then after this next CL, 
I just need to protect the active sheet, active sheet dot protect. So this is the code that will allow us to lock the cell once a value is entered into it. But this also warns the user before that entry is finalized. So let's test this out on the worksheet. For this first participant, 1001, let's say a user enters a score of 44. I press enter and this cell lock notification message box comes up. So here we have the question, is this entry correct? And the statement, this cell cannot be edited after entering a value. So if they're okay with that value of 44, they click yes. And now if they go back and try to change that value, the user would get this notification. So this lets them know that this cell is protected. So moving on to participant 1002, say the score was 51, it was entered as 51, but the user realizes the value is supposed to be 53. So from this message box, user can click no and go back and enter 53 and then click yes and move on with the data entry. The way I have this worksheet and the code configured, these cells will lock, but there's no password protection here. So if the user were to select the lock cells and go to review, the worksheet could be unprotected from here. If you want to design it so that there's a password put in place, go back to the code view. And we don't need to add any new lines of code, but rather edit two of the existing lines. And it's the active sheet dot unprotect and active sheet dot protect lines that need to be edited. So if I wanted to configure a password just for testing purposes, I'm going to use password, then colon, equal sign, and then in quotes I'm just going to use 1234 for this password. This is just a test code. And I'm going to copy this part, the password colon equals 1234, and move that down as well to the active sheet protect. So I just leave a space and paste that. So it needs to appear in both locations when the worksheet is unprotected and then again when it's protected. This won't change how the user experiences entering the data. So if I go back to the worksheet and I continue to enter in values, notice that the password protection doesn't affect the user experience. They can continue on just as they normally would. However, if an attempt was made to unprotect the sheet, a password would be required. And of course you could use the 1234 password and unprotect the sheet. Of course the user would not have access to that password. It's important to note here, however, that unless the project was protected, this VBA code was protected, a user could enter in this area and simply read the password from the code. So this project would need to be protected with a password if you did not want the user to have access to the password to unlock the worksheet. To lock this project, just go up to Tools, VBA Project Properties, and under the Protection tab, Lock Project for Viewing, and enter a password here and then confirm it and click OK. That will lock this project. That function is separate from setting a password on a worksheet. I hope you found this video on locking cells after data entry in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.